Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the town of Wallace. I have always been somewhat amazed of how they constructed the highway through here. It wasn't always like this. But this is a overhanging highway. The elevation here it is 2713. Temperature is now 40 degrees. Local time is 9.13 a.m. Look, the highway is all elevated. You know, I've been coming through here for the last, what is it now, 33 years? I have never, ever, ever stopped at this place. seems like I'm always just passing by. Very small town. I bet everybody knows your name around here, kind of a deal. Here's a thought, okay? I find it way, way too convenient that everything in this world is due to the Big Bang and evolution and all that stuff, right? But isn't it a little bit convenient that everything in this world is somewhat designed for humans to enjoy? I mean, look at look at the bees. The bees, they they fly, they work hard just to produce honey. And they pollinate all the trees. And we get to enjoy their honey, right? Um, look at all the fish. Without fish, I tell you what, life would be really boring. It seems like every aspect in this life, in this world, is there to be is there and it exists for us humans to conveniently enjoy it look at the rubber trees without rubber trees there ain't no tires i mean whatever you could think of that exists in life it seems that's all I don't want to say it's all made for us, for those of you who do not believe. But for the lack of a better word, it seems like everything is made and points to us for us to enjoy. Does that make sense? We do use science a lot in life. Why is it that in every human, every life in this earth, humans are the only one that's self-aware? can think and can reason 
I don't know, it's just a little bit too convenient for me. But as I said, just a thought. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Kellogg, Idaho. Elevation here is 2,283 feet above sea level. We're still currently traveling on Interstate 90. Kellogg. Wonder what the connection is to the uh, Kellogg cereal brands. Poor trucks. Cordeline, thirty four miles. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Cordeline, Idaho. Not exactly downtown yet, but uh, that's what the GPS says. Elevation here is two six five one. We are down to 361 miles to Olympia, Washington. And that is the route for today. The remainder of it. boss has already uh, set up an appointment or a pre uh, a load tomorrow to be picked up tomorrow evening I pick up at Pasco Washington delivering to take a guess San Antonio Texas Washington is not that far as you can see. We should be coming up to the lake pretty soon. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Coeur What is this? Uh, is that a lake? Blue Coeur Lake? Not sure. But it is one of my favorite. I know I say that a lot, but what can I say? How can you not like this place? Coeur Idaho. I wish I had my drone, but as you know, I lost my drone. It flew away and never came back. Oh my gulai. What are you gonna do? It's such is life.
once parked over there and that's the parking lot right there and flew my drone almost all the way across the lake that was one beautiful drone shot I tell you Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Post Falls, Idaho. We are at mile marker one. The elevation here is 2,060 feet. Continuing our journey to Olympia, Washington. 336 more miles to go. The current time here is 10.49. Ah, this is already Pacific time, isn't it? because Chicago time is 1249 so this is two hours behind central time so this is Pacific time anyway we are at mile marker one and we are about to cross into the state of Washington there you are I'm sure that the way station here is open. It has only been a few, few handful of times that uh, I've come across this scale to be closed. Watercraft check station. That's not for us. They really are. Welcome to Washington, everybody. Look, look. There you go, Washington. Usually this place is always open. 99% of the time. And that includes today. By the way, that ding that you just heard. Well, maybe truck must exit ah. that ding that you heard that was the uh, 70 um, can't remember the uh, 70 my I think it is the uh, dash cam but anyway let's concentrate on this way station I believe the speed limit here for trucks in Washington is 60 miles per hour.
this smile put on. Just for hahas, let's do this. Uh, let's go Pasco. Ugh. No, 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 no. Trader Joe. Add as via, add to end. So from here to Olympia to Pasco is 597, and then final in San Antonio. Grand total of $25.98. And that's our route for today and tomorrow. But that's for tomorrow, so let's worry about today. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Spokane, Washington. Elevation here is uh, 1867. Grab the middle lane right there. By the way, I want to take this moment, a brief 
moment to say thank you to each and every one of you out there that watch these videos every day. I, I really, really, really just appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And if I could encourage you a little bit to, well, to ask you to share these videos on your social medias, help me grow this channel. Maybe other people out there may just enjoy it the way you do. The more you share it, the more this channel is going to grow. That yeah, would really help out a lot. Once again, thank you so very much. Now then, that is the remainder of our route.
mile marker 142 here in Washington. Maybe you could Google that and uh, you find out yourself. But anyway, <coughs> I did a, uh, a beautiful drone video here at this rest area coming up. I must say so, it came out really nice. Alright, the local time is 2 p.m. We're down to 176 miles to Olympia, Washington. Elevation here it is 1,112 feet above sea level. Temperature is 64 degrees. Chicago time is 4 p.m. 2 p.m. here. They are two hours behind here. This is already Pacific time. You know, I will never forget that uh, the first time before I came to Washington, I pictured Washington as full of trees, full of mountains, and very green and all that stuff. But for the most part, it's like this. It's really just brown. Of course, there are some beautiful trees and greens out there, but not in this area. Okay, I think we're gonna cross that river, if I remember correctly. Yeah, we're definitely going to cross that river. Once again, for those who have missed it, we already have a pre-plan for tomorrow. Picking up in Pasco, Washington. Delivering to San Antonio, Texas. Probably another load of uh, what apples or vegetables or frozen potatoes, maybe. Look how big that river is. On a very, very windy day, there are thousands of uh, kite borders, or you know, that they they, uh, they get onto the, like a surfboard and they fly kites to pull them along. I think they call it kiting, right? You could see the thousands of them on on the river especially on the weekends yeah I, I, I thought about doing that but I think I'm gonna need the I'm probably gonna need the uh, shuttle space shuttle parachute to be able to pull me along I think they have a weight limit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at that. Wow. Ain't that pretty? I also did a drone on the left side over there. Parked over there and did a drone, came out really well. I miss my drony. But that's just the way life goes. Now you see it, now you don't proposition.
hundred RPM. Fifty four miles, fifty three miles per hour and dropping. Yellow's always been my favorite color. 